Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm not even going to say the usual, it's been a hot minute. Blah, 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 blah. It's been a while, alright? It's been a while. Um, so, basically I'm heading out this bank holiday. Decided to um, film this look. It's quite dramatic, gold glitter. Um, yeah, it's just a bit of me. Um, so, if you'd like to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. And also be a doll and like and subscribe to my channel as well. I'm also going to pop my Instagram either in the description or somewhere along the screen. And um, if you can also follow my Instagram, that would be great. Bye. So I'm going to start from the start. So I've already prepped my skin with like um, my serums and moisturiser and stuff. And um, I did put on an extra bit of moisturiser um, just because I want the skin to be a little bit more glowy. Um, but I decided to start from like full on base because I'm using a couple of different products now. Um, so just kind of update y'all. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. So this is fab. I just realised I got no mirror to look at. Two seconds. Um, um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with my chair spinning. The Charlotte Tilbury. So I do kind of put a good bit on. And then just pop it all over your skin. Like it's a moisturiser. I've just started sneezing out now. We're like literally just before I turned the camera on. And now I'm pure snotting out me. And you know, it's not a good time. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of lip balm on. Sorry. Um, yeah. This lip balm smells so good. I, I actually. It's the Rosine Inn. So I went to Book Florida a few weeks ago. Um and they gave me this and a ten percent code off for my followers. <laughs> no funny joking. Um they were just giving these free out like Dara thought I robbed it, but I didn't they gave it to me like they had booked it to them. Um but it smelled so nice like I actually want to eat it. So that's basically it prepped. Um and then I'm gonna move on to brows because again I'm using different products. And then we're going to get into the ass. So I'm just going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Medium Brown. So I was using the Zoeva. Um, but I switched over to this. Kind of does the same job, you know. So basically I've just prepped the eyes. I like finished filling in the brows. Prepped the eyes. So what I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to go over the lids. It's just basically to tie everything in together. Um, I've seen Patrick Ta doing this. Um, and it just kind of like, it doesn't give you that harsh line. You know when you have like a lighter concealer. Uh, and they meet like. Yeah. And you kind of just stop on it now. Cheers to the bank holiday lads. So I don't really know what look I'm going to do. Um, but I'm going to go start with this shadow here extra bitter it's like orangey brown i suppose um but i'm just gonna pop that into the crease first i feel like it looks always turn out better when you have enough for is what you're doing so i'm mainly just focus focusing it <laughs> focusing it on the outer corner first and then we're going to eventually bring it in. This brush is a, honestly, it doesn't even have a thing on anymore. I think it's a Zoeva 227 or something. It's donkey years old, but I just love it. And I don't want to get a new one because, like, don't get me wrong, I love new brushes, but you know when, like, they're so old and they're just grey. That's this brush. And then just lightly bringing it in. So I'm gonna go in now and blend that out with Cafe Au Lait from Ingo. Um, I don't ever use Ingo shadows because I don't like to use their products. But you know what, I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone here. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna blend out these harsh lines because no offense to anybody that does wear harsh lines, but it just gives me the heebie-jeebies look. I'd rather not. So literally going around the edge of that. Really light hand. 
Do I how how that marvelous? Why can't I speak? Marvel, what's that word? Marvelously, marvelously. I'm just gonna say seamlessly. <laughs> just blend that out there. Like, I need to go to speech classes or something. And with this shade here, which is Bordeaux from the J Lo collection. As far as I know, they're getting rid of this. Um, so if they still have it in stores, if the stores are still open. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't have to add all the two. Um, and I'm just bringing that, again, mainly on the outer corner. I'm bringing it in. Like, it is a going out look, so we do want it to be, like, dramatic. So when I cut the crease, I really want to see all the colours that I've used. Oh, I hate fireworks. So when that's done, I'm going back in with the four shade that I used. Extra bitter. Bitter. Extra bitter. And I'm just going around the edges of that. So you want to just get rid of any harsh lines that you got. And then going back in with Café Olé. Now, so I'm just going to take a black shadow. And I'm just placing it on the outer corner because I am going to... Sorry, that's my phone. Um, I am going to smoke some gel liner into this. I think. Let me see. But if I don't, I still want that like dark grunginess like I can do a whole eye look on myself without getting follow see when I do it on clients <laughs> the black just be down here literally shut up frown just gone back in with the brush I use for Bordeaux but I'm not taking any extra product on it just blending out the harsh line there I'm going to go in and cut the crease. I'm going to use the peel away as base just because I find it a little bit easier to kind of drag. I don't know. I don't know what my minks. So I'm going to go in now with chain mail. This is from Peaches and Cream. Just using that like on a flat concealer brush. And I'm just going to place it. Mmm. Sexy. Just going to take the, the brush that had Bordeaux on it, but no extra product. Go in with black gel liner. And I'm not doing a wing or anything, just smoking it out. So I'm basically just going to take some black shadow and just place it on the edge, just to smoke the edge of the eyeliner. I'm just going in with black shadow again and just smudging right underneath. So it's kind of hard to film. What's that noise? It's like a frog. Like, meh. Right. So I just popped on some lashes and finished off with the look. Um, I'm gonna go in now with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in Peach Fuzz. Just gonna pop that just around my face just for like an extra little bit of glow. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then for foundation, I'm going to go in with NARS Sure Glow in the shade Stromboli. I only got this foundation like during the day, Thursday. I love it. I got a sample of it first. Um, and ugh, I don't know what it is. It just like makes my skin look flawless. Because as we can tell, I don't have great skin. 
but literally like oh I don't know just makes it look lovely so I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel last and radiant concealer in the shade 10 ivory and just going to conceal a little bit down the center forehead cupid's bow shin brush we're gonna blend them all in together So I'm just going in with the Revolution Contour Stick in F13 just to contour my skin. Don't worry, I'm going to use the foundation brush to blend them all back in together. So I know we look like a chocolate mess right now, but I'm going to go in with my foundation brush underneath and around onto the forehead, same, voila! Now, so I'm just going to go with some Laura Mercier powder, setting just under the eyes. I'm going to buff it in, bring it back. We want it to be kind of like sharp here. Center of the nose and the forehead. Now, so I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. So it's just the usual MAC. I'm not gonna do too much because like we did cream contour a lot. Now on same highlighter again, so MAC Oh Darling. I'm going to go in with two different brushes, so I'm going to go in with this one here from the JLo collection again. I um, don't know the name but... is it. Is it actually called blush? I think it's called blush. Apples of the cheek. It's a gorgeous blush. But I'm going to pop one over just to be a little bit more extra. For lip, I'm gonna go in lips, not lip. I'm gonna go in with um, Mac Cork Lip Liner. It's not dry skin on my nose. It's not snot, I swear. Then I'm going to go in with the Becca and Khloe Kardashian and Malika collection, I think it was. It's called Cupid's Kiss. Right in the centre. Shit. And I'm going to pop a gloss over. So this is Dose of Colours, Can You Not? 